Analog JS 1.7 is out and includes some new features for analog and some features that are coming to Angular. So let's check it out. This first feature is more server awareness to your application when using API routes. So if we look in the uh, source folder here, we have our source folder. This is just a demo application. We have our hello route here. We have our hello world uh, message here that we can hit with our API route. So we can navigate to this route in the browser. So we've got HTTP, localhost, 5173 slash API slash V1 slash slow. We see hello world here. We have to type in the full URL here to get to this uh, API route. But now in our application, we can go to our index page. And I'm just going to use this home component here uh, to show. So we can go back to our application, localhost 5173. And we see we have our application running here. So if we come back here and I'm just going to add HTTP client in here, I'm going to use the inject function, inject HTTP client. And then I'm going to use ng on init. So this will run as soon as the application is component is initialized. I'm going to use HTTP client because I want to hit that API route. And normally I'd have to put the full URL in here with HTTP included. But now we can just put the slash API slash V1 slash hello. And I will do a subscribe and a console log. So it'll just log out the results. And I'm going to save that. So now we can see during our, when it server renders the page, it's going to log out this message, but we're not having to put the full URL to our API route in there. And if we come in the browser, and open up our dev tools. Uh, we can see that we have that object here. So it's rendered on the server and on the client without having to use the full URL for the API routes. And this works across uh, pre rendering and ser uh, server side rendering. So, uh, and works uh, deployment target. So, anywhere you deploy this server, uh, anywhere you deploy this application, uh, it'll work just the same there and include the path, the correct path there. Another feature in Analog JS 1.7 is the ability to register page content and API routes from shared libraries. So in our application here, we have our index page route defined within our source, but we can also generate a shared library to put routes in from there also. So I'm going to So what I'm going to do here is generate a shared library uh, using the Angular CLI. So I have a project called shared and I'm going to go under source and under lib, I'm going to create a pages folder. And under here, I'm going to create a file called test.page.ts. And I'm going to create an Angular component in here. Uh, to be standalone true and use a template here and share test page works and I'm going to export this as a default class name test page so I have my shared library here with my test page in it and what I want to do next is I go to the, I'm going to copy the relative path to this folder and I'm going to go into my V config and go inside my analog plugin and I'm going to look for the additional uh, pages directories option. So I'm going to set that as an array and paste that in there. So this will look into this pages folder and gather any page routes that I have defined in there. So if I save that, uh, now I can, I see that my server is restarted. So I can go into my browser and I define the test page.ts. So we have our index page in our main project and then our test page under the pages directory here. So I can go into my uh, sample application and type slash test. 
And now we see we have that our shared test page works. And this also works for content routes. So if I wanted to create some content routes or even API routes, I could do those within the shared library also. So if I do the same pattern here, I go in here and I provide an API folder and create a folder, a folder under that called routes. And I'll name this one ping.ts. And I can use the same pattern that I use in our API routes uh, for here. I'll just copy this here. And instead of returning hello world, I'll just return Pong. And so I'll copy uh, this relative path again, go into the V config. And this time I'm going to use the additional API directories option. I'm going to paste that in there and save it. And now I can, uh, after the server restarts, I go back to my browser here and we have our API slash V1 slash hello, uh, which will give us this page. And we should also have the, and we'll also have the slash API slash ping, uh, which will return us the Pong uh, message that we define in our API route handler. So now you can distribute these API routes, page routes, and content routes into shared libraries and make your your host application uh, much smaller in size as far as things that you bring in directly in the code base. And this works across uh, Angular projects and NX monorepos. So you can put these in shared libraries and still consume them the same way. One exciting feature that AnalogJS 1.7 is bringing to Angular is the ability to use file system based routing in any Angular application. We can do this by using the create routes function from the AnalogJS router. As you can see here, I have a few pages here that I would create in an analog project such as home.page.ts and about page and even a hello.md markdown file. I've also configured the uh, analog router with the provide router function and the provide uh, router so we can provide our normal uh, Angular routes in here. And I've also included the syntax highlighting uh, from analog.js slash content if you want to render some markdown pages. But if we come back to the routes file, we can see that we don't have any routes configured here yet. So I will come in here and I'll uh, add the import create routes uh, function here. And this will take a map of file names that correspond to how they are dynamically loaded and turn those into an array of routes. So what we want to do here is create a set of pages and we're just going to create this as an object and we're going to copy the we're going to define these paths to these uh, page files and these markdown files uh, in this object and then we we'll use the create routes function to turn that into an array of routes so I'm going to take the existing ones here and I'm going to copy uh, the pages in here and we can see that we have our source at pages.aboutpage.ts and that dynamically loads the pages.about page here. And we're still using the default syntax for dynamically loading this page or the default export for dynamic loading this component. Here I'm doing something similar. I have the home page, which the uh, routes that are enclosed in parentheses will end up as empty empty path routes. So this would be the equivalent of just going to your index page. And also we can dynamically load markdown files in here as pages. So we have our pages.hello.md. It dynamically loads the pages hello.md um, text file. And then we're going to uh, compile that into markdown and we're going to load the default here, which is a string. Now I've also defined some extra types in here for the markdown file so that we don't get any type errors. So we come back to our routes file and we've created our map. So now we can replace our routes array with create routes and pass our pages uh, dictionary into that function. 
And like I said, this is just going to return us an array of routes that we can use uh, for our application. So now if we go back to localhost uh, 4200, I already have the, the application running here. Uh, we can see we have our home page. Uh, so we can go back to our component here where I've added a few links uh, for this. So our home, our about, and our hello page. Uh, we can see that all those things are already there. So coming back to our route, uh, we can the, our index page is our home page, so we can navigate there. And these work just like Angular routes within an Angular application. So we can go to the about page, and even we can even load uh, files directly from Markdown as routes directly on the page in an Angular application. So bringing the Angular Analog JS router to available to Angular apps opens up a lot of possibilities to where uh, you can define all your lazy loaded routes in a single place and still get that file system based routing uh, experience uh, in Angular. That's what's in AnalogJS 1.7. Really excited for you to check it out. Go to analogjs.org uh, to see how to get the latest release to create a new app or check out the router. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about the new release. And with that, we'll see you in the next one.